Hello and welcome to episode 31 of my Kingdom Come Deliverance tutorial Let's Play series. This episode is going to be on continuing the quest Ginger in a Pickle. Uh, you, you remember in the last episode at the end of it I killed the two bandits so now I've got to report back to the guardians so they can give me the location of Ginger and here's the twin who I need to talk to. Good health to you. I dealt with the bandits. You don't have to worry about those bandits anymore. I've dealt with them. Really? And I suppose I have to take your word for it. If you want proof, I can take you to them. Hmm. Maybe I should have brought you their heads. I'll take your word for it. All right. A bargain's a bargain. Ginger is hiding out in a ruined hut not far from here. You go along the road to Uzi's until you see a path to the right that leads to a small spring. There's an overgrown path that leads from there right to where Ginger is. Keep your eyes peeled though. You could easily miss it. Good. Thanks for your help. Right, so find Ginger in the Mission Narhof stable boy. So if we check the map, there he is just over there. So let's go back along the road and then head into the woods. Oh, there's a rabbit just here. Hare just here. Oh, let's leave the hares. I'll do all my hunting from now on off camera. Well, now and again I'll shoot a bit. But for now, let's do this quest. Oh, here we go. Here's the hut. Oh, what plants they look pretty. Okay, let's go in. See if he. Oh, there he is. Jesus, you've led me a merry dance. What do you want from me? I want to ask you a couple of questions. Why did you run off like that? Where are your cronies? And why did you kill that bandit? What? Right, one thing at a time. Find Ginger, the missing Norhof stable boy. That's done. Why did you run off? Why did you run off in such a hurry? B because I was afraid they'd come back and kill me. Who? Those, those bandits, of course. To get revenge on you for killing their mate. Killing? Me? I... I never killed anyone. God is my witness. Where are your cronies? I'm looking for your friends. Where are they? The charcoal burners? They're over at the... To hell with the charcoal burners. Where are your bandit mates? The, they're not my mates. They, they nearly killed me. I recognised one of them, so I thought they'd come back and... Recognised? Who was it? Talk! I... Don't know his n name, only that he's from Ushitz and he has a limp. Go and tell Captain Bernard what you found out from Ginger. What can you tell me about him? How do you know him? I saw him a few times in the tavern in Ushitz, playing dice and boozing. And? I know he lives in a house on the edge of the village, but that's all I know. I never talked to him. Why did you kill that bandit? Or wait a minute, tell me everything that happened. And now tell me exactly what happened. And don't leave anything out. That's quite a long story. I want to worry. I'm going to get bored. All right. I woke up in the middle of the night because I needed to go for a piss. So I went out into the dark, same as usual, only... Only there was something there that shouldn't have been. At first I thought it was just a trick of the light, but it wasn't. Then it was too late. 
They went past, and I thought they must be horse thieves. I would have yelled, only I was afraid they'd kill me. So I waited until they were out of sight, and I started to sneak away. But then... Then the slaughtering started. Yeah. I, I thought they'd steal the horses and ride off. That would be bad enough. But then all the killing started, and flames everywhere. Well, that was terrible, like hell itself. And then? It, it seemed some of them didn't like it either. They started squabbling among themselves, and some of them started running back where they came from, right towards me. And I had that thing in my hand, the hoof pick. So you stabbed the first one in the belly? No, no. He ran right into me. He was running fast for a fellow with a limp. He pushed me aside and I fell on the ground. Then he told me I'd better lie low if I valued my life. He ran off with the others. I did what he said and hid. Then the rest of the gang ran past. And then? Then, then I waited in case that limping one from Ushitz came back. I didn't dare come out until I was sure. I think it was almost like. What about the others? What about the others? Was there anything you noticed about them? Uh, I don't know. There, there might have been maybe eight of them. And two of them were really big. That's all I can remember. What did you know what they argued about? I didn't hear everything, but I reckon some of them were only there to steal and wanted no part in the killing. That sounds terrible. I know exactly how you feel. If only I yell. Maybe they... <laughs> if you had, you'd most likely be dead. It probably wouldn't have done any good anyway. But still... There was nothing you could do. Okay. That's all. I've heard everything I need to hear, so I'll leave you be. Wait! What about me? Won't you help me out? Uh, perhaps I could. What would you like? I'd like to go back to the stud farm, but those cutthroats who want to kill me are still around. Will you help me? They're out of the way. I run into them on my travels. Really? That's great, but... What? I'm afraid to go back to the farm. I, I ran away, and God knows what they'll think about it. I don't know if they'll even want to talk to me. I could go and ask them if it's important to you. Would you? You'll definitely have their respect, the way you took care of those cutthroats. I have to ask Newhoff Stud Farm if Ginger can go back. Right, so the good news is I can fast travel. And once he goes back, then I can loot that chest that's there. So, can I go to there? Norhoff. Norhoff. Let's see, oh, it's morning time, so that's good. Oh, he took me on a right merry dance. That was a long way. Oh, Wayfarer. Big Salmon. I like these little uh, cutscenes or little excursions, whatever you want to call them. I'll probably end up dying through one after saying that. Well. Oh. Can't see anything. Is there supposed to be a body or wayfarer? Well, whatever it was, it's gone. So let's continue on. We're nearly there now. Right, let's check the quest log. I have to ask at the North Stud Farm if you can go back, and I've got to tell Captain Bernard. Alright, so. Oh, 
that's where I need to go. Let's see if I can find someone to ask on his behalf. It's a guard by the looks of it. Oh, watchman. So I'll talk to the captain after I found out if he can go back. I found Ginger. He begged me to ask if he can return. Why should I take him back? It might be his fault I had to bury my husband. What? Why else would he flee but guilt? The men said they didn't see him in bed. He didn't have a clean conscience because he gave those murderers a signal. That's not true. He fled because one of the attackers recognised him and Ginger was afraid he'd come back and kill him. Those are just excuses. He wouldn't dare come back. But they came back the very same day. If he hadn't run, they'd have killed him and everyone else. But why would they do that? Why not? They'd already murdered several people. Why not a few more? And now we're supposed to take him back? What if they come back for him? and kill one of my daughters in the process. The cutthroats who were after him have been taken care of. And the rest have no reason to return here. And what about for revenge? I can't take him back. I have to ask... Yeah, so yeah, he wouldn't come back. I understand your concerns, but you just need to ask Sir Hannes to leave you a guard. Those bandits might be willing to take on a few stable boys, but not an armed soldier. i definitely feel better if someone was here a few days to keep watch. It can be arranged. I'm sure Sir Bernard won't object. Good then. Let the lad come back again. God bless. And there we go. Right, so, tell Ginger he can go back to the farm. Oh no. So, no, that's taken me too far off. So I think it's time for my horse. Right, so let's have a look. What's the most direct? Oh, there is this road I can take. Yeah. Right, that now hopefully, yeah, well, should take me straight back up there. I think I need to go up along this other road, this way. No, I'm doing this way, I said. Yeah. yeah, there we go, he's not far from here. Oh no, wait a minute, I went a bit wrong. I'm going to have to go to the left. 
wonder what this horse is like travelling through the woods. And there we go, there's this hut. And I'll rescue off this Lincoln horse. You can return home. It was hard work to convince them, so please don't get into trouble when you go back. Thank you. I'd, I'd like, like to give you something, but I've got nothing. Except, if you're ever travelling by way of Neuhof, stop by and I'll show you something with the horses. Hmm. Tell Jinji can go back. Done. Right, there we go. So, once he's gone, I should be able to loot this chest. Sleep. So now we've got to head back and fast travel though, that's the good news. And then talk to Captain Maynard. check the quest log so you go and tell Captain Bernard what you found out from Ginger to grace us with his presence. I was looking for that boy and... And you didn't bother telling anyone. I had to follow the trail before it went cold. And what if some bandit skewered you and left you for dead? We'd never find you because you told no one where you were going. How would I explain that to Sir Radzi, eh? I really don't know, my lord. He disappeared without saying a word to anyone. Never crossed my mind he wanted to get himself killed. I... I... Silence! Keep your ignorant mouth shut when I'm giving you the benefit of a veteran's wisdom. You do what I tell you, answer only when I ask, and not go roaming off whenever you feel like it. I'd like to kick your arse back to the castle and be shut of you. But it's true, you're a fucking peasant who knows nothing about soldiering, and it's my job to whip you into shape, so I'm not done with you yet. God have mercy on you if you ever try anything like that again. If you're lucky, I'll only have you whipped and clapped in the stocks. Because if I get my way, you'll be hanged for desertion. Mm -hmm. I hope we've got that out of the way. 
And I've made myself absolutely clear. And now, let's hear what you have to report. Oh, so he wants to hear what I've got to say after telling me he wants me hanged. Great. I talked to Ginger and found out what happened. Out with it then. Ginger fled because he recognised one of the raiders. He was afraid they'd come back to silence him. Well, he was right. They were asking about him. So who did he recognise? He didn't know his name. Some fellow with a limp from Ujits. All right. Since you've gone this far, you may as well ask around at Ujits. We have enough to do here in these parts anyway. Sir Radzik will tell you about it. He said to send you to him if you haven't already been. Go and tell Captain Bernard what you found out from Ginger. Done. Report the progress of the investigation to Sir Radzik. Right, so, oh, what's this? Any work going here, Captain? Can't do the training because that's when you're back at the arena. Uh, so. Any chance of some work here, Captain? It all depends on what you're ready to do, my lad. As I'm sure you've noticed, the roads around here are swarming with brigands. Sir Hunnish has declared quite a reward for dealing with them. So what do you think I should do about them? We know about one of their encampments. It's to the east of Rattai in an abandoned mine. I don't really mind how you deal with them. Anyway, the leaders generally wear spurs, maybe like they're pretending they're nobility. Who cares? In any case, bring me the spurs, and I'll take it as proof that the deed's done. Very well. I'll see to it. Wait. In addition, Sir Hanush has offered a reward for every bandit who's killed. So take a good sharp dagger. You'll get a bit extra for each ear you bring. Ooh, how grisly. So, quest started ruin. Kill the camp leader. Very well. That sounds amusing. Well, as for amusement, I'd entertain myself by being very careful, lad. Right, okay, so... Got a bit of extra work from him, so I've got a quest from him. Which is that one, Ruin. Which is right back down there to the east of Rate. But also carrying on this main quest, Ginger and a Pickle, which is what I want to finish. I've got a report to Sir Radzik, so let's go do that. So is Sir Radzik here? Why is the... I think I'm wandering up here. Yeah, he has. There he is. So, let's do that. God bless you. What troubles you? I have another lead to the bandits. My lord, I managed to find a clue to the whereabouts of the bandits. Excellent. Bernard already told me what's been happening, but I'd like to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. The whole story, or just the gist of it, sir? It's up to you what you consider important. Report the progress done in brief, then. Oh, the whole story. One of the Neuhoff stable boys, a lad they call Ginger, fled from there and hid out with some charcoal burners. I have to say, there's a lot of them around. I never thought how many forges and ironworks they have to Oh no, that's too that's long true, Keep to the point. Oh, yes sir. I had quite a job finding him. He was well hidden and with good reason. The bandits wanted to kill him because he recognised one of them. Did he tell you what happened? He said it wasn't one gang, but two. And one of them took fright when the slaughter started. Seems they were only interested in loot, so they quarrelled with the other lot. Then it came to a skirmish in the woods and one of them was killed. And the rest of them scattered. And did you find out where they went? All I know is one of them is from Ujits. I know enough about him to be able to track him down. Alright, but those cutthroats must know who he is too, right? And if they want to get revenge on him or silence him, you'd better hope they don't get to him before you. So drop everything and get on his trail. Find out what he knows and then report back to me. I'm going to our encampment of Mahaya to oversee the security of the region. Yes, sir. Quest completed, Ginger in a pickle. Mysterious Ways. That's the new quest. Find the Nor Norhof 
off bandits bandit in Urhits. Why choose Murphy? Murphy. It's somewhat wow. the centre of events, isn't it? And what's more, there's another stub farm there. Sir, do you think they're going to try the same thing again? I shouldn't think so. Everyone will be on the alert now, but the secluded dwellings are more vulnerable. There are few people in them. They're scattered everywhere and we can't guard them all. But the bandits won't find much silver in places like that. There's always a groschen or two, some food and so on. Anyway, how much silver did they get from slaughtering those horses? True. If they'd stolen them, they could have sold them. Those were fine animals. Exactly. It's not about the silver. It's about something else. But what? Creating fear. Such great terror that you won't even squeak when they come to cut your throat. Never mind raise your hand against them. Fear that will root you to the spot. Staring like a rabbit entranced by a stoat, waiting for the death blow to fall. Helpless to do anything about it. I have some news about the investigation, sir. Good. Tell me. The trail leads to Ujits. I found out one of the bandits is from there. A fellow they call Limpy Lubosh. Oh, got his name. That's all I've found out so far, sir. All right. Come back and report to me as soon as you learn anything new. Oh, Limpy Lubosh. <laughs> what a name. <laughs> there we go. Right, okay, so check in the quest journal. So Limpy what a name, Limpy Luhitz. Wow. Okay, so what's the time? I'm gonna have to travel up here now. I should be able to fast travel. So that should be okay. But that's where we're heading next. Oh look at him jump down. Right, so yeah, let's try fast travelling there. Hopefully I'll get there before it's too late. Oh wait a minute, why is it? I'm sure, oh there's the fast travel. Hopefully I can get there before the inn shuts. Right, so find out where the limping bandit lives. That's what I've got to now do. And I think the first thing I should do is get an in room so I can sleep the night away. Let's at least book a room. Good day to you. What do you need? Fellow with limp. Oh, okay. Well, let's do that. I'm looking for a fellow who lives here, but I don't know his name. Do you I know do. With a limp? Limpy. And what would you want with him? Well, it's no skin off my nose. The bastard has a cottage on the edge of the village by the road to Ratai. Find out where the limping bandit lives. Completed. Nice. Visit Lubosh. Limpy Lubosh. Right, so a place to sleep. Can I sleep here? Aye, there's room here. For how long? One night. Just the one night? Alright. Hey. Here you go. Yeah, I'm You'll it. like it here. Uh, let's trade. How much money? So he's got 150 groschen. Oh, has he got anything that I can read? No. Oh, I need to cook 
my meat. Oh, and there's the time. Look at that. Wow. So, yeah, I need to cook the hair meat. And then I can sell it to him. The time is gone, so I may as well just end the episode here. You don't want to see me cooking meat now, do you? Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.